Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get into SJSU. Because ever since I posted a video reacting to my SJSU admissions decision, a lot of you guys have been asking me how to get into SJSU. Today I'm going to be going into all of the details and telling you guys everything that you need to know if you want to get into SJSU. So a lot of you have asked me what SJSU requires for admissions and basically the only two things that you need to do in order to get in is one, complete all of your A to G requirements with a grade of C- minus or higher and two, take the SAT or ACT and hopefully do well on it. If you don't know what the A to G requirements are, I'll put a link down in the description that will tell you a little bit more about what those are, but you've probably already taken most of those classes already if you're a senior in high school. Basically, whether you get into SJSU or not depends on your eligibility index. So once you have your GPA from your A to G courses and your SAT or ACT scores, you can calculate your eligibility index. If you took the SAT, you're going to want to multiply your GPA by 800 and then add your highest SAT math score and your highest SAT reading score. And if you took the ACT, you're going to want to multiply your GPA by 200 and then add the average of your highest SAT score results and then multiply that by 10. If you live in California, the minimum eligibility index is 2,950 using the SAT or 694 using the ACT. And if you don't live in California, the minimum eligibility index is 3,570 using the SAT or 842 using the ACT. So that's the lowest eligibility index to get into the school, but it might be slightly higher than that depending on what you want to major in. The requirements for your major will depend on how many people apply and how many people are already in your major from previous years. But I'll put a link down in the description to the 2017 impaction results, which will give you a pretty good idea of what they will be for you. So that's how SJSU admissions are decided. It really just comes down to your high school stats. So my number one bit of advice to anyone who wants to go to SJSU is to try your best in high school, try to do as well as you possibly can in your classes, and also don't be afraid to take the SAT or ACT multiple times. That's something that really helped me get into the colleges that I got into. I really improved from the SAT that I took my junior year to the one that I took in October of my senior year. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below. You can also email me at contact at monicamallon.com if you want me to privately answer a question that you have. And lastly, I just want to say that even if you don't get into SJSU or you don't get into the major that you want to get into, it's not the end of the world. There's lots of college options out there and even if you don't get into any of the colleges that you apply to, you can still go to community college. Regardless of whether you get 10 college acceptances or zero, you can still do great things in the future and you can still end up in college if you want to. So I hope that this video was helpful to anyone who's interested in going to SJSU. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Click here to subscribe, click here to check out my most recent video. I love you all so much, stay awesome, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.